right, the time is here. Take advantage. If you're interested in promoting your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News, music, brand, or even yourself, email me, Sam Ant at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com for more information. Don't wait. Let's go. We got a couple of things to talk about today. Let's start off with Floyd Mayweather. He was on the Pivot podcast when he was asked about Diddy. And his response has a lot of people shaking their head. Here we go. Bad about P. Diddy, because um, he's still a black man. He, he, I mean, um, mistakes happen. And I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the Internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is it's not my business. Um, I don't think it's right at all, and I don't condone it. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But um, that's the choice that my daughter made. Mm. Yeah. So I don't want to kick nobody while, while they're down. I think the big thing, because I have girls, too, is, though... No boys? It, I have a boy, too. Okay. Is, one, if your son is in that position or your son is accused of those things that Diddy was accused of, like... I'm going to believe in my son and what he says, but I'm going to check him about that. I'm going to check him about whether or not these are things you've done. I'm also going to check him about being putting himself in those positions. And on the other side that we have to be very careful of, especially when talking about women, is that if those things are true, right, and some of the things are true, yes. that wasn't a decision they made, right? That, that, that's something that was done to them. And I'm definitely, I wasn't in those rooms, so I can't cast aspersions on Diddy and say that he did it or he did do it or he's an evil man or is. What I am saying is if those things happen to those women, not yes. only is it not right, it's also not their fault. Mm -hmm. We was like one month old. Last that, that's the context that was put out. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> your thoughts on that? Um, all right, so first off, when you listen to when you listen to Floyd, right, you gotta really understand that he's not the most articulate brother and the and the best with his words and right. how he's expressing how he's feeling, right? So what he said is what he said. I'm not trying to go ahead and, and make excuses for him. Right. What he said is what he said. But um when you look at he basically was saying he, he put a lot of the onus on the female. Heavy, heavy onus on the female. Yeah. And that ain't gonna go well, bro. I mean, it, in, in the society we live in, it's just not going to go well. And I'm not saying that he was wrong in what he said, but if Diddy was found wrong, then nah, it's a little, it's a little more than that was what she decided and that type of shit. In my opinion, I would, I wouldn't have said those type of things. But that brother lived a different life growing up. That brother lived under different circumstances and different rules, and maybe that's certain ideals that he sees and he believes in. So, although I disagree with it. I'm not going to bash him for it, and I'm not going to bash him because he's not the best at articulating himself. Now, I'm glad Ryan Clark, shout out to Ryan Clark, went on there and kind of put some context to it and said, this is how I feel, blah, 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 and went against the grain a little bit with what Mayweather said. But, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. What, what, what you thinking? Maybe he I, – I, I was thinking maybe for Mayweather say that. I'm not trying to put words in his mouth. Yeah. Maybe he, he uttered that statement because, like, he probably felt like, why would you stay if that was going on? Right. Why are you staying around? I'm sure that's the question a lot of people ask, like – why do women stay in these alleged abusive relationships when you could just easily get up the first time he hit you and just go? Maybe that's what he was saying by that. Again, I'm not sure. Um, I think Ryan Clark, um, he kind of, he, I don't want to say like Captain Saver, but he kind of got like, I think he kind of misconstrued what uh, Mayweather was trying to say, even though he made it very clear. Like he, I don't think he was trying to attack the woman when he said that, Me either. but he kind of jumped up. Was like, nah, you know, if he he almost assumed like it happened, mm -hmm. and Mayweather's like, look, I don't know, right? I'm not gonna bash the black man while he's down, like everybody else is doing. Like ninety percent of the people doing were bashing Diddy as if it were true because of gripes they had with him, Fact. with different artists and things they heard about him, or maybe because he's too flamboyant or whatever the case may be. A lot, I think a lot of people, you know, were jumping a gun with that, but um. Yeah, um, I feel like Floyd Mayweather feels about the situation. None of us were there. None of us don't know. But I'm not going to sit up and act as if the man is guilty Word. 
or I'm not going to sit up here and act. If he's not guilty, we're going to say, let's wait and see. But we have been attacked for that wait and see approach. Of course. Oh, y'all this. Oh, you must be this. Oh, y'all must have did this to your women. Nah, it's like, yo, when he says that, when he, when he makes emphasis on he's a black man, he's saying that for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's a mean, he's a black man. So the shit could be shady. He could, it could be lies. That's what it, it, he's a black man means and it's like yo i'm not going to attack another black man without proper cause the two so and he shouldn't and we haven't and it makes perfect sense and that's why i really feel like if somebody else in that situation would have been able to articulate themselves better but it's good that you have people to be able to break down what he truly meant and his sentiments and what he was saying you know what i'm saying and like nah let's just wait before we cast aspersions on on anybody you know what i'm saying I wish he didn't go at the females is crazy. And I think that's what Ryan Clark was doing with saving face because he knew it was coming like, oh, shit. And I don't think that – I don't know if Ryan Clark – I don't want to put words in his mouth either. I don't know if he doesn't feel the same way that Floyd Mayweather does because who – nobody was fucking there. How can we honestly act, sit here and act like we know what happened in them situations? It's a witch hunt, right. whether he did it or not for Diddy. You got people bringing up his sexuality as if that's a, a reason for guilt. <laughs> we joke about it. We laugh about him <laughs> doing with T.D. Jakes. But right. what if he was found to do something with T.D. Jakes? Is that illegal? Is, did he do anything wrong? No. But they try to mix all this stuff up to, de to tear up his character, which is very, very interesting. I think another thing Ryan Clark, what he tried to or what he did say was like, if that was my child. I would like go to him and like pretty much ask him that he did it, do it. Like, mm -hmm. Did you really do this? If mm. this is the case and this is the case. And what if your son came to you and was like, yeah, I did it. Or if he was like, yo, nah, they bro, I ain't do that shit. How many sons are really going to be honest with their father in a situation like that? And say, yeah, I whooped that bitch ass. I did this to the, I did this. I did. I'm a monster. Out of shame. Not many. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like, but I get it as a father. It's like, yo, all this stuff they saying, what's going on, bro? We gotta talk about this. What's going on? Like, I don't, I don't believe you did it, but talk to me. Why they, you know? Yeah, let me on? know something. Yeah. So that's what I think. You know, Ryan Clark w was saying with that. Um, I just did. I don't know. I kind of got the vibe that I could be wrong. That he was kind of leaning more towards like, all right, let's kind of like get at Diddy for this shit. Maybe oh, I'm you wrong. Do attack him? Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's kind of the vibe that I got. Um. It was a dope discussion. Yeah. It needed to be had, and that's why it brought a different, lot of different opinions. So that's, that's what we want. You know, it still breaks my heart that we had Ryan Clark and Sean Taylor as our safeties at one point. At oh, wow. Well, I forgot you had Ryan Clark. Oh, that breaks my heart. Wow. Every time I listen to that motherfucker speak, I'm like, damn. How long did he play for y'all? I think two years. Oh, okay. Maybe a year or two, and he went to the Steelers and won them bowls. Wow. Oh, yeah, man. You had a lot of good people at that point in time in that organization. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. I remember but, uh, the coaches y'all had, too, at one oof. point. Yeah, plenty of them. Yeah, but uh, you know what's interesting? You talked about your sons, and I talked. I talked to my son. I'm like, look, man, with you could go out there, and hypothetically speaking, right, right, kill somebody. Tell me the truth. Let's figure it out, and we're gonna figure this shit out because I got your back. That's my son. That's my legacy. I'm not about to be out here telling him what's right and what's. Wh I'm not gonna be out here basically condoning bullshit and condoning what's wrong by any stretch of the imagination, but. I signed the oath with him to protect him at all costs, and I would even in mistakes. So oh, that's yeah. a very interesting dynamic if my son were to come to me and do something way outside of what he was raised to do and hurt and, and you know what I mean, disrespecting women. Ooh, how would I react to that? would be interesting. I mean, first I want to know, like, I want to get some help or something like that, but there's always going to be a part you want to want to protect and stand by your, your child. You feel me? I like, no matter what. No it's matter just what, like, bro. You see, You see, like, somebody in court, like, they, 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 they son killed 30 people, and they mom stood there right beside him. Like, he ain't mean it. Yeah. Forgive him. This, that, and the third. Yeah. And I, I get that as a parent. It's like, damn, like, you know what I mean? Right. I, I, you, you never want to leave him abandoned. We're going to do jump on the other side and say, nah, F you. You my son, but you did this. It's kind of hard. That's a hard thing to do, man. It's a hard pill to swallow, boy. Yeah. Parenting ain't easy. But, yeah, that was a dope discussion. Yeah. Uh